If you follow me on social media, then you should already know that a few weeks back I came to Food Taipei to check out my friends at Wusata. But there's only so much you can fit into a 30 minute live stream. So today I'm once again back here to my American friends so I can actually see every single kind of delicacy that they are now trying to bring here to Taiwan. And just to make sure that we do not miss a single thing here, we are once again back here with Michelle from Wusata. And for those of you who did not see our live stream on Facebook, who are you and what is Wusata? Yeah, I'm Michelle Silva and Wusata is a nonprofit organization and we help our companies start exporting and getting our companies into Taiwan. Wusata stands for Western United States Agricultural Trade Association. Absolutely, uh, yes. Which you understand why they need the, the shorter name. Yes. <laughs> so what is so special about about like the Western US. So the climate is so great that they have, you know, awesome tree nuts that are coming out of there, dairy, beef. Before we get started and hopefully get to try all these yes. deliciousness, you personally, how long have you been here in Taiwan? I have been here only a couple of days, short period only a couple of time. Of days. Fresh Just off the boat. Fresh off the boat. It's a little hot and humid here for me. I love it. I love the Taiwanese people. Everyone is so, so nice. It's amazing. So really looking forward to see some Wusata beef noodle soups. Yes. Here in Taiwan, and maybe some yes. some dairy and some uh, bubble milk teas. Yes, using absolutely. some Western American uh, milk, maybe. Do not wait anymore. I need to leave yes. and actually try all these uh, delicious food right now. Like, and we are jumping straight into the dairy section here. It's literally a whole table full of cheese. So Glambia cheese are basically a manufacturing of natural cheese. So okay. it's not like what you see out there where there's additives. This is 100% cheese which is made from milk okay. and then nothing else. One of the big things about Glambia is to ensuring people get the right nutrition. We are also the number one WPI, which is actually a whey product in US as well. So we are very, very committed in terms of providing the nutrition to the consumer. So what I hear now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this cheese is filled with nutrition yes. so I can I can eat a little bit more without feeling bad definitely you get yeah. all the calcium that you need you get all the proteins that you basically need just from the piece of cheese this is the proper amount of like cheese to cracker it's like 95% cheese and it's like a tiny cracker just like it should be it's so good. So you can get it like in, in slices as well. In already. slices as well. I realized that in Taiwan, people are like a little bit more comfortable. Yep. They're a little bit more used to like just the fast, like pre, pre sliced cheese. It's more convenient and it's right. kind of more easy for them to really assess as well. You're speaking about the easy access, I think I'm going to take another piece of Go ahead. Here. You need one just to warm up your mouth. Right. Your stomach already knows how good it's going to be the second time. So you just have to eat more and more. I think we need to, to save our stomach space a little bit more because uh, we're not even halfway down here. So we're going to head over to the next booth right away and now we are here at high desert milk okay. and i have to say as if you hear high desert milk is not really the first thing that you think about why is it high desert milk idaho the whole state is a highland average about 900 meter high but it looks like a kind of it's very flat so it's more like a kind of a plant with a lot of grass perfect for a dairy oh, but it's okay. a cold so yeah kind of in winter I see. Okay, yep. so it's, it's, a, it's a grass desert. It's yeah, a it's grass desert. desert. Oh, it makes no, sense. A lot of grass, a lot of cows, and also a lot of milk. Yeah, a lot of milk. This is also... A powder is milk powder. Powder milk powder. Yes. Okay, so how, how does this work? It's not common in Asia, but it's very popular in the US that you take some ingredient out of the fresh milk and okay. make the powder. Right. And people can order and they just ship it to you. It's very convenient. Mm. You, you said this is not that common in, in Asia. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of products do you have that you think like the Taiwan audience specifically might be uh, uh, most interested in. This is a new product. MPC represents a milk protein concentrate. 70 means 70% 70 of the product actually is protein. The first place of 2023 US kind of a, a champion, a championship. So what do we need to do to get a high protein buttermilk powder Centu Nai Cha? We just add this ingredient and can, you can uh, advertise high protein uh, uh, Zenzhou Nice, huh? Good idea. That's, Good a, idea. that's amazing. I started to uh, to go to the gym now, so <laughs> yeah. I need my more uh, high yep. protein Zenzhou Nice. Huh? You, your muscle can grow better, get stronger. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely something that, that I need. And on my quest for stronger muscles, I came across a new kind of superfood where only one single bite apparently will create a spark in your energy levels. I only had one tiny question. What spark bites? Uh, these are, as you can see, um, prebiotic energy snacks. So these are vegan. Stops hunger without making you feel uh, full or heavy. And it also comes in a bunch of different amazing flavors. I, I have to try like the cinnamon. Oh wow! It's like a cookie. Yeah, it it's like is. A cinnamon, 
cinnamon cookie. Yeah. It's so good. I really, really hope that the Taiwanese audience starts to pick this up as well, so we can have these in stores all over Taiwan. Spark Bites. Remember it. You heard it here first. <laughs> this is going to be big in Taiwan. So yeah, we have two brands here, as you can see. So we have Food to Live, healthy and delicious foods, nuts or dried fruits. Is there such a thing as like the top seller selling nuts? Like what's the most popular? Almonds and walnuts. Also flax seeds. We do have also uh, prunes, cranberries, dates, and a lot more ingredients. But sadly, these nut snacks are not snacks that are currently available in Taiwan. And as my disappointment started to drive me nuts, I decided to take a little bit of a break from walking around and take a seat with my new friends at IMB. And here I am with, I think, my two new best friends because they have prepared a whole smorgasbord board of delicious nuts and dried berries, Excellent. it seems. Who are you guys? We are the leading export marketing corporation that is based in Seattle, Washington. Offer a wide array of food, premium food products. Right now, what you see here are our uh, famous or popular dried fruits, cranberries and blueberries. I was just going to say, I was, I was just sitting here hoping that it was blueberries. I love blueberries. It is dried I was, I was just sitting here, it's like, which bowl has the most blueberries? Because I just <laughs> love it. Can I, can I try one? Yeah, yes. sure, oh, of course. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. So good. I assume the, the plan is to try to bring that into the, to the Taiwanese market? Exactly, yeah. I really think that this is very suitable for Taiwan because they do love like the healthy, natural, more like traditional like snacks. I'm a huge candy eater myself and I was very disappointed when I first came here, but now I'm starting to like get used to like the more natural way of, of snacking. Which one is your own uh, personal favorites? Uh, my favorite is pistachio. Pistachio. It's like the only one you need to peel before you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like a little bit too much work. the kernels without the skin, without the shells. Okay. Yes, that yeah. I can accept. That's, uh, I'm, I'm too lazy to like having to <laughs> peel all the time. How does it work so far? How, how do you feel like the Taiwanese market is, is reacting to your products? We got some inquiries already that people are organic, uh, live, looking for organic, mm -hmm. which we also sell organic blueberries and we provide all the necessary documents for okay. uh, importation. I will give you like three months and then I want to see some more uh, dried blueberries of course, all over Taiwan. The, market. <laughs> the, the clock starts now. And this is why I absolutely love these international food shows. We literally just walked a few meters and now we appear to be in New Mexico. Uh, New Mexico is the most uh, produced state of uh, pecan in the United States right now. Our pecan is a very huge size. I just <laughs> met you. I don't trust you. I need to check for myself. Of course, uh, of course. Out. I got too excited and I just like dig my fingers Try into it. it. Honey pecan. It's really good. Very good, right? It's really good. Yeah. I watched a lot of American movies. Yes. And you always have like pecan pie. Yeah, pecan pie. Cream. Yes, yes. That sounds like super American. Yes. The, the director of AIT, she make the pecan pie. Okay. Every uh, Christmas. In Sweden, we have uh, pecan ice cream. It's uh -huh. super popular. Okay. In, in Taiwan, I don't see pecan no, that much. No, not much. What do we need to do in order to get the Taiwanese to understand how delicious it is? Actually, that's the reason I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay, to introduce up. the pecan to the Taiwanese people and Taiwanese market. Okay. Yeah. yeah like in Chinese medicine, wuna is like a brain. Okay. Okay. And then pecan is look like a kidney. So in Chinese medicine, it says if you eat a wuna, help for your brain. Eat the, the, the pecan, help for your, your kidney. Regardless, <laughs> even if you do not need to improve your kidney, definitely try to check out the new Mexican pecan. If you take the non-honey pecans, it gets a little dry sometimes, but I see that we do have uh, some supplies. Yeah. To, uh, you know, what, what is this? New Mexico is the first state to produce the wine in the, in, US? In the US. Oh, really? Yeah, because the first church is in Santa Fe. Okay. And they need the, the wine to uh, I don't know, serve to the to the uh, the God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why we have the first wine. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't know that. And this is our uh, very fam famous one. Is with uh, made it with a chili. Chili wine. Chili wine. If we want to buy this in Taiwan, uh -huh. where do we go? And then how do we how do we get this in Taiwan? Actually, we are looking for the importer. Can we make a deal right now? If yes. they do import yeah. some wine, yeah. we give them some pecan and honey for free. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mai Songi. 
Although that free pecan and honey promotion may not be in the official contracts, if you do are an agent or importer and are interested in these high quality products from New Mexico, please do reach out to the State of New Mexico Economic Development Department International Trade Bureau Taipei Office since they are promoting New Mexico's industries and foster business cooperation with Taiwan. And here we now are at one of the cornerstones of at least a Swedish diet, milk or the white gold as we call it in Sweden, but apparently dairy gold as they call it, at least in the Western United States. Thank you so much for uh, bringing me into your, your booth here, surrounded by, by milk and these dairy products. Uh, what do we have here on the table and what is dairy gold? Dairy gold was established in 1912, collectively owned by uh, more than 350 dairy owned families, producing over approximately 10 billion pounds of fluid milk every year. So. All of wow. that milk is then produced into a variety of different dairy products. But we're here today to promote uh, fluid milk uh, to the Taiwanese market. So we're excited to introduce some of our products here. I only see the back of this packaging, but I can already tell that it's like chocolate milk yeah, right now. Chocolate yes. milk, you got it. And I mean, you must have had this growing up as well, like in, yep. like in the States. And in Sweden, chocolate milk is like, it's the best thing that you have like growing up. I can tell you drank a lot because you're a little yeah. bit taller, yes, right? Yes, yes, right. Yes, I drink, I drink that, this one, it gives you yeah. more protein. And one of the benefits about our chocolate milk, parents and mothers are looking for, is the nutritional benefits yep. of milk. So with chocolate right. milk, high in protein product, lactose free, there's no added sugar. So this is our fit milk line. Oh, and it, it is lactose free as well? It is lactose yes. free. Yeah. Oh. It is tailor made for Asian market. Oh wow! Yeah, that that is huge. Even in, even in Sweden and in Europe right now. Can I try some? Absolutely. I would, so I would this love our chocolate milk. Oh my god! Yeah, we have we have to have some some chocolate milk. <laughs> oh yeah. No, really good, oh, right? that's, yeah. that's good. Rich. That's good. Yeah. Nice yeah. mouthfeel. Yeah. Rich, creamy. It brings me back like there we go. Thirty years back in time. <laughs> I just back I, in childhood. I just want to stay home watching cartoons right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, how it feels. Go. Good. And this is the this the is two percent. Uh, this is fit milk. Chocolate. Oh, it's also fit milk. This yeah. is, but this is fit milk for whole milk. So again, this is lactose free, uh, high protein, protein um, and then no added sugars either. I just want to add this in like a coffee and have like a latte or something. Ideally, yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly would be a good fit for. We know that the Taiwanese market is the number one consumer per capita in Asia of coffee. Especially the high fat content, high protein is good for foaming. Foaming, yeah, that's right. Foam. Oh, yeah. I see, like for the, the latte yeah. art. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so how's it going then? Uh, when can we see like uh, some some dairy gold milk all over Taiwan? Hopefully by later this year. Later and, this year. You know, we're looking for distributors now in Taiwan. We've you know seen a lot of interest at the show here, and there's certainly an appetite for U.S. made milk. When you are covering the entire Taiwan, you get back to me. That's we'll, right. we make another video. There we we have some dairy gold whole milk lattes. Let's mm. do it. And then if that is something that you want to see, please do remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so you get notified when we have dairy gold all over Taiwan. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one. And as if that was not enough, I just discovered that they are using Tetra Pak, which of course you all should know is a Swedish company.